we have here problem number 7. So we're going to perform the indicative operation and simplify. So in order to simplify this kind of problem, first you need to uh, find the factor for the new, each numerator and denominator. So for example, can x cubed plus y cubed, it can be factored. So we factor ania, this can be written as x plus y times x squared minus xy plus y squared over x. Okay, since this is a sum of two cubes times x squared over, so this cannot be factored, so you just write it, x minus y quantity cube, then since this is divide, so you multiply the reciprocal. So this expression is a perfect square trinomial. You can write this as x minus y quantity square over here. This cannot be factored. So in one kopyahon, x squared minus xy plus y squared. Then as you can see, na akay mga factors na ma cancel out since if you divide the numerator and denominator, that would be equal to 1. Example, ang x minus y squared din he can be cancelled out sa squared din he, no? So, wala ni squares, so mabili na lang 1. And then, ang x squared minus xy plus y squared, o ang x squared minus xy plus y squared din he, this can be cancelled out. This is equal to 1. This can be cancelled. And then, ang x squared divided by x, that would be x. So, cancelling x and numerator denominator. So, x na lang ni siya. And then, so pa man, wal, ang x, y, wala yung cancel out. So, maulang ni siya. Iwan na din siya, i-multiply. So, we have x times x plus y over, we have x minus y. Or, pwede ni mo ni siya i a multiply, so this will become x squared plus xy over x minus y. Then that would be our answer for number 7.